to true talk say the rain will be say one four for this year and not be small oh may we they may we they pray although 2024 yeah 2024 it's a year of promise a year of covenant year of joy it's a year of glory still I want to do what I put up. There are some prayers that we must pray. Ben. Yeah. We must pray for, for Lady Nigeria. For our country, Nigeria. We must pray for the whole nation. Because because of I want to can you because of every rain that may want to affect some things in the country especially in Lagos heavy rain heavy rain pray over it in Lagos and in another country the heavy rain that take away the whole house let's pray over it Thanks for staying with us. So it's a rainy, rainy Wednesday on uh, in Lagos today, and everywhere is wet and flooded. Even um, areas that don't normally flood, whatever today, it's flooded. Because why will Osho be flooded, and it's not even abating in mm. a few hours? So this is like Osho. Is he is he lucky? Is Suri lucky? Is um. Uh, under the bridge, straight fair. Is it lucky? Mm. These were areas where, when it rains, the waters go after a while. So but if the water is not going, third Milan Bridge. This is this is third Milan Bridge. The Yanawuru. Yeah. Yes. Maybe you see the waste by that uh, bridge. Maybe you we see call something. Third Milan brothers? Bridge. Or so is the careful to say the Yanawuru was linking to third Milan Bridge. That's third Milan Bridge going over there. Yeah, exactly. You can see that this is the. Yes. This is not even too bad. Because my brother even had an early flight to catch this morning. He said that his Uber was now had to now spoiled. Oh, yes, it's like the water and everything. Oh. That it was just such a stressful morning. We need to discuss. We need to discuss waste management and waste collection again. Yes. The way we used to emphasize it once upon a time on the show, we need to emphasize it again. I thought, I thought they need to start to. Pour built stores store on the drainage system and I can tell you for free they have blocked the drainage system but want to even go beyond that by saying let us even build up a secondary collector that can drain more water which invariably means it will be higher and then the road level too we believe if we can elevate that section with the drainage system and then the road infrastructure we will solve the problem also April 2024, UAE experienced the heaviest rain it had seen in 75 years. The roads were completely blocked and the water entered the ground floor of shops and villas.
is very important. That we pray hard. We need to pray in 2024. In year 2024, a lot of markets that, that, that had them. fire outbreak. Uh, and people were screaming. Oh, whoa, whoa, me, oh. Manning yeah. as ways. We need to pray over it. We'll pray for all the markets. Place. Battle of fire house break. God will conquer it. In this prayer. The aeroplane that fly on the head. The aeroplane. Let's pray for them. In 2024. Yeah. Thanks for staying with us. Well, a search is underway for six persons who were on board a helicopter which crashed on Friday in Nipton in the U.S. state of California. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department says no survivor have been found at the moment. The statement read, quote, we were made aware of a downed aircraft at approximately 10:12 p.m. The scene of the crash was determined to be east of 15 Freeway near Halloran Springs Road. End quote. The Federal Aviation Administration identified the helicopter as Eurocopter EC-130. Reports suggest that the CEO of Axis Holdings, Herbert Wigwe, his wife, son, and three other persons were on board the helicopter when it crashed. With that breaking news, a helicopter goes down near the California Nevada border. The FAA says the Eurocopter EC 130 crashed around 10 o'clock last night. Six people on board at the time. Okay. Stand by. Right now, 4 30, we continue following breaking news right now from Florida's Gulf Coast. A plane crashing onto I 75 near Naples. And Janice Fernandez is following the latest from our newsroom. Janice, what are you finding out about this? We're getting a lot more information, Louis and Christy. And this is all coming in on that plane crash. We want to get you straight to the video of the crash scene, though. We have been showing you this video from I 75. This is the southbound lanes near mile marker 107. So this is in the Naples area. From this video that was shot by one of our viewers, you can see the wreckage of the plane that is on fire. Also pay attention because you can see this is a twin engine plane and that indicates that this is a small jet and from what we're getting information from flight aware that if it's about 22 people on this plane but we don't know exactly how many people were on board. Now the Florida Highway Patrol says that jet was trying to make a landing on the interstate. Well we understand there was some sort of issue with the engines when it tried to land on the interstate but it ended up hitting a vehicle on the road and then burst into flames. Again, we don't know how many people were on board, but the information when we ran that tail number on FlightAware, it says that this plane is capable of having 22 passengers on board. But again, haven't confirmed how many people were on board at the time.